what that does. It's a bill for Kristen's miscarriage. Look at the date. She miscarried your baby, J.R. You're not Christopher's father. You don't have any claim on him at all. Well, Bobby, just calm down. You tried to blackmail me with a child you thought was your own. You're scum. Oh. Daddy's got everything under control. James could get you a motorcycle, too, and the three of us could go out riding together. Well... James is a real neat guy, Kelly. You should see the four-wheeler he got me. You mean he bought you a little red wagon? Whoopee. Christopher. At least we get to go places, and we're not gonna take you. John Ross, that's not nice. But it's true. And I'm really glad I don't have to hang out with you anymore, you little drip. John Ross, just take it easy. We're having a nice evening at home. We don't have to take him with us. Do we, Dad? Uh, John Ross, we'll discuss this later. No way, I won't take him. He's a tag-along geeky creep. We're pawn scum and toe jam mixed together. You two want to go straight to bed? He's too young to go out with us. Why don't you go upstairs and play with your dolls? No, no Christopher! Christopher, come in! Come on! Come on, that's enough! He's starting, Dad. Yep. He's starting. Both dead, son. Now, you apologize. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Christopher? Me too. All right. Shake hands and we'll forget the whole thing. No, I won't. But tell me, Mr. Ewing, does your wife feel the same way? If you ever, ever come near my wife again, I'll kill you. Hey, what the hell are you doing with my wife? Your wife? Well, we were just dancing. Don't pay no attention to him, Gus. We're divorced. Oh, well, in that case, get your hands off her. Forget about him, Gus. He just don't want me to have no fun. Just butt out of my business, foreigner. Stop bothering us, Ben. I'll bother you all I want. Get your hands off this lady. <laughs> Wonderful, Gus. I mean, you knocked him out. Well, Gus, you're a hell of a fighter. Freeze! Maybe you'd be better off at with Bobby. That's hardly the same thing. Look, she wasn't talking to you. Will you butt out? Hey, don't stop in the mirror. I'll pop you one. Well, find yourself a ladder so we'd be eye to eye. You want to come after someone, you come after me. Well, what do we do? Wrestle country style. Just watch this. Kelly, no! Oh. Kelly, stop it! <laughs> Shelly, you too. Well, at least you let go of me. You know, you've got a real mean mouth. Funny JR seemed to like it. This is a lot of fun. Cliff? Oh, my God, Jamie. You bastard! Oh, oh, 
No, wait a minute. Look, look, I can really explain it. Stop, except... Well... My, my, my. That must be my ex-sister-in-law. What a temper. Good thing she didn't get here five minutes from now. What are you two up to? You know, you and your sister, that's what's wrong with you. You are both so suspicious. I know you two are cooking up something. What? That's ridiculous. What is in that briefcase? Look, hey, this huh? is a new system. What is that? What is this little scheme? It's a new... Hey, Jack! Hey, Jack! If you and I are going to discuss business, I think we should dry you off. You know, this is a new suit. A robe in my apartment. He was still my husband. But you walked out on him. You didn't want him anymore, and I did. I fell in love with Bobby from the first time I saw him. And I've loved him ever since. Pam, and I'm going to have him, too. Oh, listen to me. You may be my sister, but I never want to see you again. I want you out of my life for good. And it's not going to happen again, I can tell you that. Charlie, you're grounded for two months. No! You'll be going to school, coming home, and that's it. I'm a prisoner in this house. You weren't, but you will be now. I'm not gonna do it. Charlie, you can't make me. Oh, yes, I can. As long as you're living with me and my husband in our house, you'll do what we tell you to do. Charlie, for Pete's sake. I hate you. I hate both of you, and I'm not gonna take any more lectures from you. Time you showed up. Clayton, what the hell are you doing here? You son of a bitch. Get out of here. Calling my wife, filling her head full of lies. Joey, you want to arrive at your father's house a live son or a dead son? Bartender. No. That's it. No more drinking. I said I want another. No. Given up on yourself, but I sure as hell haven't given up on you. <laughs> you really are a dumb old cowboy, aren't you? <laughs> now listen to you, or I'm gonna explain something to you. I'd give up my house, my inheritance, every damn cent I've got before I'd go with you against Miss Ellie. <laughs> Leave those kids alone. You don't want them hit? Then you keep them quiet. Damn little brat. Please! Shut your dumb face. Pick yourself up. Get my dinner on the table. Or I'll really give you what for. Get my dinner. Kids are almost through. Won't leave in a minute. I said, now. Yep. You let them eat in peace. Shut your face. 
face. You hush up, too. I'm going to teach both of y'all a lesson. Stop that damn yapping! Leave him be. Yeah, I'll leave him be. Till I'm finished with you. You're never gonna touch them again. I am gonna enjoy this. Oh my god. Woman who killed my sister. <laughs> 